Morning, everyone. Hope you're doing okay today. Um, I wanted to ask you: Have you ever found yourself doing something where you know it is a good thing to do, but you basically don't want to be doing it? Um, so for me, I think it's doing any sort of clothes washing. Not very fun, but needs to be done, and it's a good thing.、Um, but also another thing that came to mind was when I used to be an apprentice in a church a few years back, and. Every week, about four times a week, me and a team of ten other apprentices, we used to have to、uh, change the church build, change the room、um, of the church building around to get ready for a prayer night. So there'd be five hundred chairs facing、uh, one direction in the morning, and it would take us about an hour and a half, a team of ten of us, to clear all of them away, to sweep the floor, to put out about forty、uh, tables or something with chairs all around. Um, so that they could have their hour prayer meeting that night,、um, and then the next day we would go back in the morning and clear it all away, sweep the floor again, then lay out five hundred chairs back to normal.、Um, so in twenty four hours,、um, you wouldn't even know it had changed.、Um, and when I was doing that,、um, I almost every time we were doing it, I had to tell myself, "This is hard work.、Uh, why are we doing this?" I asked myself, but I had to remember to remind myself some、um, some true things about the gospel. And there was a verse that I kept coming to. We were studying Mark. I was teaching Mark the whole of Mark's gospel to some students that year in our Bible studies.、Um, and let me read you a verse that I kept remembering. It's Mark chapter eight, verse thirty-one. Jesus then began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the teachers of the law. And that he must be killed, and after three days rise again. Then a few verses later, verse thirty-four says this. Then he called the crowd to him along with his disciples. So he's talking to everyone, really. And Jesus said, "Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me." And and in a couple of verses, he sets out what it means. To be a disciple of Jesus, to be his follower.、Um, so in verse thirty-one, he 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 talks by himself. He's saying, "Well, I am going to die now. I've got to suffer first, but then、um, I will rise again in three days later. But first, well, my life is、um, is going to be hideous. It's going to be terrible, facing、uh, humiliation and facing a rejection by God as He takes." Um, the punishment that we deserve on the cross.、Um, that is, that is the path that Jesus is facing in these last few days of his life. So this suffering now,、um, but then future glory, resurrection glory afterwards. And he says, well, it is the same pattern for people who want to follow him, for his disciples. Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. Um, and and when I was moving those chairs every day or every other day、um, a few years ago, I basically had the same sort of conversation in my head、um, to myself, reminding myself, "Well, why am I doing this? It's hard work. It's sweaty and horrible. It's almost a waste of time because we've got to put it back a day later."、Um, and I had to remind myself, "Well,、um, this is this is the pattern of life as as a disciple of Jesus. It is." Denying myself is losing my life and doing,、um, not not doing what I want to do all the time. It's serving others. I'm、um, so serving others by putting these chairs out really well.、Um, and and doing it,、um, even though I could be doing better things. And、um, and I kept coming back to this verse: the life of a disciple.、Um, Is a life of someone who who is losing their who is losing their life, and then I had to remind myself. Well, actually, that doesn't sound like a very good deal. But、um, well, a few verses later, remember what Jesus has done. He has just said he is going to go to the cross to serve other people, to serve me, and to serve us more than we could、um, even imagine. It's more than we can do.、Um, as we look at him and look at the the stuff that that I've got to do in my life, or that. Um, Jesus asked me to do well. It pales in comparison to the work of Jesus on the cross. And I was thinking、um, 
this this pattern of losing our life, of serving other people. Well, actually, in this season, in and when coronavirus is here, in lots of ways, it has given um, some amazing opportunities to serve people. I remember when Rue um, had a temperature about two months ago. I had a temperature. It was just um, before lockdown. Moses was ill. Um, we couldn't go outside because we were isolating and Moses needed a prescription picking up. And so I could text someone um, and say, oh, can you help? And um, we can't get out. We need we need some medicine. Um, and this person, um, you know, they lost a half an hour of their life walking to the pharmacy and dropping it off hours and walking back to theirs. Um, but it was a lovely um, example of someone serving us. They didn't need to, um, but they chose to serve us. Um, because they knew that they had been served by Jesus. And this is what life as a Christian looks like. It looks like serving other people. And as I look around uh, our church family at the moment, there's so many examples of of serving others. You know, whether it's sort of these structured things like organising food for mustard seeds to be cooked and delivered, um, or whether it's sort of the little things, you know, helping your neighbour, dropping around a meal here, sitting with someone, giving someone a phone call um, to see how they're doing. All of these things, um, well, probably we could be doing something more interesting or more fun with our time. But it's a real encouragement to see people from our church family and hear of people from our church family serving others uh, really humbly. But let me leave you with a challenge. Um, These verses tell us that we are to deny ourselves and to lose our life and to take up our cross and follow Jesus. And and that sounds hard. Um, so my challenge is, my challenge to, to you, to myself, to us today, um, is to keep remembering how much Jesus has served us. And to challenge you, are we, are we willing to give up more and more for other people, to lose our life, um, whatever that would mean for us, to give up our time or energy or money, in the service of other people when and by the definition of this we we will feel the cost of it I mean, it will be costly for ourselves or for our family and yet um, this is the sort of person that uh, Jesus says this is my disciple someone who loses his life who denies himself who follows me let me say a prayer um, as I finish father thank you Um, for the Lord Jesus, that he set out uh, this pattern of losing his own life to serve us um, at his own expense, at his own cost, um, before rising again um, and being in glory with you. And we pray uh, that we would be willing and daring uh, to give up our time or energy or money to serve those around us, that we would be really willing to lose our lives to serve others. Amen.